South African Airways Technical has resumed operations following an earlier decision to suspend maintenance services to four airlines. In a statement, SAAT says the decision to suspend its services was not taken lightly and was aimed at protecting employees' salaries affected by cash flow challenges. To discuss this further, I'm joined now by SAA spokesperson Tladi Tladi. A very good afternoon to you and thank you so much for joining us. Good afternoon to you, Rata, and good afternoon to the viewers. Now, can you put it uh, on the record for us which customers exactly SAA Technical uh, will actually resume services for? SAA Technical provides uh, maintenance of uh, aircraft services to, to a number of its customers. It is uh, typically referred to as an MRO, which means that uh, it does maintenance, repair, and overhaul of aircraft to all its customers. In this instance, um, a few days ago, almost a week ago, if not beyond, uh, SAA Technical then took a decision to suspend the provision of uh, maintenance services to a number of customers. There were four airline customers that were affected in all, two of which form part of the SAA group, namely SAA Airline as well as uh, Mango Airlines. Uh, immediately after the suspension was put in place, that saw parties um, uh, moving and sitting together around the table to find ways which they could um, uh, overcome this particular impasse. And when was payment made by SAA Airlines uh, as well as Mango Airlines? Because we saw a situation last week where Mango had to actually rent an aircraft because of the suspension of services, as you've mentioned. Yes, the payment came through during the course of the week between Wednesday and Thursday, but we had to deal with, uh, with two issues. On the one hand, we had to deal with um, uh, the legacy debt, which is amount owing based on the services that have already been rendered. And secondly, we had to deal with uh, what becomes the way forward. And on both these points, parties were able to reach an agreement, so much so that the payment that has been effected in part deals with the settlement of uh, the, the legacy debt as well as uh, the prepayment as we refer to it for the services that must be rendered going forward. In other words, as we move forward, we are making every effort to ensure that we avoid debt accumulation to a point where our customers are not able to, to pay. What this means is that it is a, a win-win situation for as many stakeholders as possible. It's a win situation for our customers where there was anxiety as to whether or not these airlines were going to provide a service. It is a win for, for SAA Technical because it has been able to receive payment. It is a win for our employees at SAA Technical because um, as of tomorrow, the management there will be sitting with their union leaders in order to map out a way forward to, in order to, to pay the balance of the salaries that we are not paid as you are aware that we paid yes. only 25% of their September salaries. And so, so are you, you're actually mentioning here that you only pay 25% of the September salaries. Um, you're working on a plan to pay the balance. Uh, are, you, are you confident that at the end of the month of October you'll be able to pay the full amount of the salaries because of these uh, agreements that you've signed with your customers? We, we, we are hopeful, let me put it that way, that uh, the customers will be able to honor the agreements that are in place in the event that they are not able to do so, one of the things that should happen is that there should be an early notification um, to SAA technical management so that the employees who tend to be adversely impacted the most about situations of this nature should also be notified so that they are able to make alternative arrangements because uh, they, they, they live off the, the, the salaries just like you and I who are gainfully employed. We rely on our salaries uh, to make ends meet. So we remain confident that uh, based on the undertaking and the agreements that are in place, parties should be able to honor this and mm -hmm. SAA Technical will be able to pay the, the salaries uh, going forward. Now, I might have missed this earlier on. You mentioned SAA Airlines and Mango Airlines as part of your customers, but who are the other two customers that you've been able to come to an agreement with? There, there are two other customers, which are other airlines. One is also a domestic carrier. The other one is a regional carrier uh, that is based there elsewhere on the African continent. Due to uh, customer confidentiality and, and the etiquette that goes with it, we feel that it is not our place to really put out the names of these particular customers. The exception insofar as SAA and, and, and Mango Airlines are concerned, 
is because of uh, the ongoing discussions and they also form part of what we refer to as the SAA group. Ordinarily, do not really put out the names of the customers out there in the event there's a default or there is any debt going.